Hello my dears and welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new to the channel and don't know who I am my name is Lizbeth I'm a published author here in America and I make manga for a living and yes my work is sold in the manga section of bookstores like Barnes and Nobles worldwide and volume 4 is about to drop in just a few days I'll be sharing a super special emotional unboxing of the very first volume that was ever printed here on YouTube and as soon as the video is up you will know the volume 4 is available as well as my limited edition art book so please keep an eye out for that my dears so on to the video <laughs> if you follow me on social media like Instagram you already know that I am a traditional artist which means that I do everything by hand I add screen tone I use ink I don't use digital medium for my artwork at all so I get a lot of questions from you guys who are new to traditional mediums like using micron pens and there are good ways to use it and totally wrong ways to use them and a lot of you guys are bumping into the same problems and I'm getting lots of comments and questions asking me to help you guys with these common problems so today's video I'm going to be sharing a lot of tips and hacks and do's and don'ts on using microns because they are super fun to use but definitely for those who are not used to them there's a lot of issues that you will come up with such as why is it that after you erase microns they fade why is it that when you ink with them the little edges get fuzzy and it bleeds and all sorts of things these are two of the most common problems and today I'm going to show you how to avoid the problem. So, I hope that the video will be super useful for you guys. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up if you find it useful and enjoy it. And don't forget to check out my other artist life hack videos, y'all. I have the playlist right down there in the description box below. I promise you the videos will be so, so, so helpful for you on your artistic journey. So, without further ado, doo -doo, let's get started first let's talk about why do microns fade when you erase over them like after you've drawn your picture you've inked it in you love it and then you erase and you're like what the f happened to the lines they are totally faded they're not oh don't worry I have a solution y'all I have a few solutions first let's explain why the fading happens micron ink is actually very very thin it's uh, not as thick as things like India ink. So when you draw, a lot of the ink actually sits right on top of your graphite. So here's your paper, here's your pencil graphite, and then here's the micron ink. The problem is it doesn't actually seep through all your graphite and actually touch your paper. So when you erase the graphite, it actually lifts some of the ink with it. And that's what causes the fading. So. There's a couple of things that you can do to prevent this from happening. So let's go through the list, okay? First, you can do what I do, which is as I'm drawing, I'm also cleaning up my lines so that there's not a whole bunch of graphite everywhere and the lines are pretty clean. So that when I ink with the micron, it actually is able to penetrate through the graphite and actually make contact with the paper. And then I let it actually dry and cure overnight. Then I'll erase the graphite the next day. This will actually give it a chance to really adhere to your paper so that when you erase the pencil away, you don't get as much fading. Another thing that you can do, you can actually use your light box, take your drawing with, you know, the pencil drawing, tape it to your light box, take a clean piece of paper, put it over your drawing, tape it down, and then with your micron, start inking so that you actually will end up not even inking over the original pencil drawing. You'll be inking on fresh, brand new paper. So you won't even need to erase anything. However, please remember to let the Micron ink dry at least an hour before coloring with markers because a marker could actually rejuvenate the ink and cause smudging. A little extra tip for you. Another thing that you can do is I actually shared this tip in my Artist Life Hacks video, which I highly recommend you check out because, girl, it will save your life at least two times. Honestly. <laughs> that if you are just really frustrated with the whole thing, you can just simply draw your drawing out in pencil, keep it nice and neat, and then make a photocopy of it. Let that dry up and then color the photocopy. That way you don't have to ink and go through all the frustration. I still 
highly recommend that you learn to ink and don't run away from actually inking. But sometimes, you know, you get way too frustrated and you just want a freaking color. So you can actually just make a photocopy of it and just color the photocopy. But if you want to be really hardcore with it, you can start using my favorite inking medium, which is quill pens and nibs, y'all, with some India ink. I'm telling you, India ink is the blackest ink you can ever freaking use. And once it dries, no matter how much you erase over it, it's not going to fade. It's literally impossible for it to freaking fade. It's such a hardcore ink. I freaking love it. And it's also waterproof when it dries, y'all. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. However, using quill pens and nibs and all that, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of patience. It has a really, really big learning curve, so be patient. But I'm telling you that once you learn how to ink with quill cool pens, you're never going to want to use any other pen again. It is going to spoil you, girl. It is going to be the best freaking inking experience of your life. You're going to be like, yes, queen, fuck me up, India ink, I love you. That's how you're going to be once you learn to um, use it. Yeah. Now, another huge problem that you guys have all the time with the microns is as you're inking, it starts bleeding into the little details. It makes your inking look all funky because the lines are too thick and bumping into each other. And I tend to ask people, what size micron are you using? And I tend to get answers like, oh, I'm using a 08, I'm using a 05. And I'm like, girl, no, stop it, no, that is inking suicide. 08 is so freaking fat and 05 just as fat. A 01 is a great, 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 great pen size. However, the 005 is so freaking thin, it's like when you open the cap, you're like, girl, that is, that is micro, that is little. It's like taking three strands of hair next to each other. That's literally how thin the point is. It's beautiful. I highly recommend that if you're having this issue that you can't get into little details, look at the number at the top of the cap of your micron. It'll also have the number on the side right next to the logo. And if it is a 05 or a 08, that's that's why you're having this problem. Get a 01 or a 005. It'll change your life, boo-boo. Mama said so. And a lot of you have this issue with feathering and bleeding, which means that when you ink and you look at the line, the edges starts like to vein out and you see like little lines coming out of your main line and they are bleeding into areas you don't want. This is called feathering and it is a very common problem. There are one of two reasons why this could be happening and more times than not, it's a combination of both reasons causing this problem. The first problem could be, again, you may be using a pen that is way too thick. So when you're inking, it's releasing too much ink in these little areas and the bleeding. But the feathering really happens when the paper you're using is not appropriate for inking. Or rather, the paper is too porous. Now, porous means it has too many pores, it absorbs a lot. So a lot of papers like watercolor paper, for instance, is very porous because it's meant to be used with a wet medium like watercolor, which is a lot of water. So when you put water on watercolor paper, it absorbs it and because it's very, very porous. However, there are smoother types of paper which are more condensed and less porous and have a smoother surface that don't absorb water as much and are far more appropriate types of paper to use with microns, such as Bristol paper. So I highly recommend that if your ink keeps feathering out that way, that you try a different type of paper. Computer paper, depending on the brand and how inexpensive it is, like if it's like really inexpensive, cheap computer paper from like Staples, it can be on the more porous side. So when you're inking on it, it could actually cause a lot of feathering and bleeding and you're losing control of your pen ink because it's going into places that you don't want it to go. So if you're going to use computer paper, try to get like, you know, a better brand computer paper like Xerox paper. It tends to be a lot smoother when you touch it. Or go to the art store and go through some of like the pads of paper and touch the surface. The smoother the surface is, the less porous it is. However, stay away from marker paper. 
don't use marker paper it is the worst paper oh my god it literally it can't absorb ink at all which is ironic because it's meant to be used with markers it's the worst all the ink just sits on the surface and just swashes around it doesn't absorb it at all you can't blend on it it's the stupidest invention next to wooden mannequins don't use them ever but seriously marker paper is terrible don't waste your money on it invest in better paper also a lot of sketchbooks have very very porous paper because they're very inexpensive and you can actually see it you can see the like the slight like texture to it you when you touch it it sounds very dry and textured smooth the smoother the paper the less porous it is the smoother the inking process will be I hope these tips will be super super useful for you guys don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and tell me guys what other issues do you guys have when it comes to using traditional mediums because girl my YouTube babies mama wants to help you I want to make more videos to make your journey as an artist that much easier so again <sighs> hope you enjoyed it guys please take care God bless and do not be afraid to nerd out. Take care guys and have fun with your microns.